Osho was a guru leader of a Hindu spin-off cult. He disagreed fundamentally with the more orthodox forms of Hinduism. However, he was not automatically, by any means, truly a progressive and great man. So he wasn't old-fashioned in some regards. His particular movement, the Rajneesh movement, was quite open about sex, about feeding the passions, about enjoying life. Especially for him, of course. He would encourage people to give away their possessions, or sell off their possessions, to give their funds towards the movement, supporting him. The people within his movement were encouraged to remove all material desire. While he ended up with a fleet of extremely expensive, luxurious cars, including over a hundred Jaguars. He was also involved, and his movement involved, in transporting drugs into the United States to help fund his commune. This is also the case with other communes in other parts of the world, including India. Illegality has been a characteristic of the Rajneesh movement, more so in the lifetime of Osho, and he of course died in 1991. I've heard many people since call him a great visionary, a great and wise man, even a man with no real belief. I would disagree. He offers a simplistic philosophy which fits most people's view, and in that he is quite good. But great? I don't think so. As for having no belief, he encouraged a particular belief system. He encouraged people to give away their possessions, and that to move away from the materialistic was to move towards the spirituality of truth. To move towards a grander and greater and more real philosophy upon reality. Is that not a belief? So he may have been, in some ways, quite progressive. But in other ways, he was truly a cult leader. And his organisation now is simply the leftover shell of the fallen philosophies. And those people who still follow now are people perpetuating the idea of a perfected individual. Osho was not a perfected individual. He encouraged his people, his followers, to surrender their material but he himself was above that. He himself could do as he wished and live as he wished while they were forced to conform to the non-materialist ideology set up in his wake. Certainly not a perfected individual. Certainly a person with a great many interesting aspects. But merely a Another cult leader. So he's not a cult leader on the scale of many of the extreme religions. Or on the extremes of dangerous and destructive activity. But his group was not a bastion of free thought and expression and progression. As the remaining followers of his belief would claim.